Hi everyone, welcome to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today we're doing a cocktail compilation and we're featuring Green Chartreuse. So Green Chartreuse is a French herbal liqueur made by Carthusian monks with a recipe that's well over 400 years old. Uh, the Green Chartreuse is a bold herbal liqueur as opposed to the Yellow Chartreuse which is a, a sweeter honeyed herbal liqueur. So make sure you stick around because I'm doing three green chartreuse cocktails today and I'll also be announcing my next cocktail compilation. Uh, but before I get started, I just want to do a massive shout out to the people who have bought the back bar, meaning they have purchased a bottle for me to use today, uh, specifically Steve for buying green chartreuse, the featured liqueur in this cocktail video. Trevor for the uh, Plantation Overproof Rum, which is a Caribbean rum from three different islands. And then we've got Amanda McDee for the Old Forester Bourbon and Sarah for the Angostura Age Rum, uh, number seven, seven year Age Rum. Thank you guys, hugely appreciated. And also a massive shout out to all the people on Patreon that continue to support me and make these videos possible. I now have some merch available on the Patreon, so I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to check it out. You can have a mug with my name on it, or a shirt. I find it weird if you guys want that, it's, it's on Patreon, check it out. It can't be a green chartreuse compilation without the last word, which is probably the most well-known green chartreuse cocktail. It's been around since around the 1920s, around Prohibition era in the States. Four ingredient cocktail, it's herbal, it's gin based. Equal parts, one of those super easy cocktails to remember. Three quarter ounce, 22.5 mil of green chartreuse. Sits at 55%. And then your preferred gin, I'm using Beef Eater, which is a London Dry. Same measurement, three quarter ounce, 22.5 mil. And a maraschino, I'm using Luxardo. 22.5 mil. And fresh lime. That is one pulpy lime. like no juice coming out. Plenty of ice and give it a shake. Into a chilled cocktail glass, a Nicanora or a coupe glass. And this lime is extra pulpy, so I'm going to fine strain. It's got a really nice, beautiful green lime color to it from the green chartreuse and the fresh lime juice. And garnish with a maraschino cherry. So there you have a last word. If you want to, you can also play around with the gin component, change it to an Irish whiskey and you've got a Dublin minstrel, change it to mezcal and you've got a last of the Oaxacans. Next we have the last flight, which is cleverly named. It's a cross between a last word and a paper plane, which is two of my favorite cocktails. It comes in equal portions, same sort of framework as the, the last word and the paper plane. Nice and easy. Starring green chartreuse, of course. Three quarter ounce, 22.5 mil. Followed by bourbon whiskey. Thanks, Amanda. Three quarter ounce, 22.5 mil. And Aperol, some bitter citrus notes being added to the cocktail. And fresh lemon juice. So three quarter ounce, 22.5 mil of each ingredient. Add ice, give it a shake. and straight into a chilled cocktail glass. And garnish it with a citrus wheel or a maraschino cherry. They have a last flight. And on to cocktail number three, the Bywater. This is a creation of Chris Hanna. He's a veteran bartender and worked at French 75 in New Orleans. 
Now this is a simplified version. I'll leave some more detail in the description below of some of the other recipes, but I prefer to keep this simple one for you guys to try at home. You can use a different rum if you like to, but this is the, his preferred rum, which is the Plantation Overproof. So this sits at 69%. It's gonna stand up to the chartreuse that's in the cocktail. It calls for 52.5 mil, one and three quarter ounce. Then 22.5 mil of green chartreuse. Cheers. Fifteen mil of Averna. So one of his other versions does call for a mare pecan, which is a more orange for tomorrow. Then we have seven point five mil quarter ounce of velvet falernum, which will also add some clove notes to the drink. So plenty of ice. This one's a strong one, so I'm gonna give it a stir for about 40, 45 seconds. <laughs> Straight into a coupe glass. and express some orange oils over the top, which will help replicate the original Amer Pecan. There you have the Bywater. So there you have three easy chartreuse cocktails that you can recreate at home, if you've got a bottle, of course. First up, the last word. Cheers. A beautiful way to showcase chartreuse. Uh, citrusy, a lot of herbal notes, obviously, and it Chartreuse pairs really well with the dry gin. It's exactly what you'd expect. It's a combination of a paper plane and a last word. Uh, it's herbal, it's citrusy, it's vibrant, but then you get these subtle sort of citrusy notes that's a, that it's a little bit bitter as well from the, the Aperol. I think I still prefer the, the original last word. Then we have the Bywater. Yes. I really, really like that. Um, it is extremely potent. You've got three quarters of an ounce of a 55% green chartreuse. You've got almost two ounces of an overproof rum that sits at 69%. Uh, I do like the use of the overproof because it does stand up to the herbal, herbal tones and the, the complexity of the green chartreuse. So you've got a lot more vanilla and, and caramel notes in this one, but it's incredibly strong, but it's, it's tasty. You definitely don't want to have too many of these because it will knock your socks off. If you enjoyed today's cocktails, make sure you check out the Neptune's Wrath, which is an easy variation on a gin sour with the addition of flamed green chartreuse. Nice and simple, but it's got a little bit of complexity from the, the herbal liqueur. And you can also check out my really seedy mo in that video. Go check it out. And I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.